Hello everyone and welcome back to Around the World in 80 Planes and X Plane 11. For this flight I'm going from Shanghai to Seoul, or more specifically Incheon I suppose, in South Korea. And I am flying a DC-9. Now, I've already uh, flown an MD-82 which was derived from the DC-9, but I think they are substantially different planes so it's worthwhile to fly this one as well. And if we take a look outside, part of the reason is because I have a uh, classic Korean Airlines livery for it. Uh, so that's appropriate and I couldn't resist, basically. And it, you know, it really is very different from the MD-82. And uh, it certainly is a different model than the MD-82 model that we had before, which was the stock one. This is a freeware, so, and uh, exterior-wise, uh, pretty good for that. So anyway. We are going to continue with the Apollo 13 audio, of course, listening to that during the flight. And when we last left the crew, they had just basically just said, Houston, we have a problem. But we'll start a little bit before that with the previous message. And uh, we'll go in real time for a little bit. And then uh, after, thing, after sort of the exchanges slow down, I'll once again be cutting out the silences so it's a little bit more compressed. But anyway, pressing play on that audio. There we go. And so the final message before the problem. 13, we've got one more item for you when you get a chance. We'd like you to uh, stir up your cryo tanks. In addition, uh, I have a shaft and trunnion. Okay. For a look at the comet Bennett if you need it. Okay. Stand by. Okay. So. Let me just adjust my map a little bit. All right, here we go. Seems like cloudy day today here in Shanghai. Now we can see stuff. Pretty big airport. Let me turn down the game audio a little bit, I think. Really quiet in the cockpit. Most of the flight will be over water, of course. Okay, stand by, 13. We're looking at it. Okay, uh, right now, uh, Houston, the uh, voltage is, uh, is looking good. Uh, And we had a pretty large bang, so if 
associated with the um, caution and warning there. And as I recall, Main B was the one that uh, had, had a amp spike on it uh, once before. Roger, Fred. Hold off on buttoning up the tunnel. Roger. Actually. Yeah, that, that jolt uh, must have rocked uh, uh, the center uh, on uh, C now and O2 uh, quantity 2. It uh, was oscillating uh, down around 20 to 60 percent. Now it's full scale high again. Roger. If I have to do the. We have B is barber pole, and D is barber pole. Helium 2. This is the pressurization system, of course. And secondary propellant. We're getting a little bit high here. B barber pole. T mag temperature. I think the pressure is fine. Okay, AC2 is showing zip. I'm trying to reconfigure on that, Jack. I think the crew would have felt some negative G's there. Sorry. Yeah, we got a uh, main bus A undervolt now too, Sean. Main A undervolt. It's reading about 25 and a half. Main B is reading zip right now. Well, the red line seems to be more or less where I would expect it for an airliner, so no problems there. Got a bit of a bad patch for this island right at the tip, but otherwise it's looking good. They really do keep them waiting. Too sure that's gonna work, okay, folks. Uh, Houston, I'm showing, uh, I tried to reset and uh, fuel cell one and three are both showing uh, gray flag, but they're both showing zip on the float. We got me. Okay, Houston, are you still in 13? 
of, uh, we're reading you. We're uh, trying to come up with some good ideas here for you. We're no longer real time at this point. I'm cutting out the silences. Say again, Fred. In the interim, to help out main A voltage, I've got uh, main bus tie uh, bad AC on. Uh, I would you rather accept the uh, 25 volts uh, we're seeing on main A? Okay, bus tie AC on. Thirteen Houston, we need Omni Charlie, please. Yeah, not a good time to risk losing communication okay. at this point. Thirteen Houston, uh, we'd like you to verify a couple readings for us. Uh, we'd like the nitrogen pressure on fuel cell one. We need the oxygen pressure on fuel cell two. Okay, nitrogen on one and oxygen on two, is that correct? Negative oxygen on three. Okay. Wow, there's a uh, 150 knot tailwind available. We were using a bit okay. of that, but not quite all of it. Test, uh, one a. Says zip. Just gotta try to get to 29,000 feet. Uh, Two Baker says uh, point six, and uh, say again the other one. Uh, fuel cell one, uh, nitrogen uh, reads uh, zero. Roger zero. Zero has to be but worrying. Thirteen Houston, we'd like you to open circuit fuel cell one. Leave two and three as is. Okay, I'll get to work on that. And, uh, Jack, uh, our O2, uh, quantity number two tank is ringing zero. Did you get that? O2 quantity number two is zero. That's AC, okay. Yeah, that, that's because of AC. And it looks to me, looking out the, uh, act that we are venting something. We are, uh, we are venting something out, uh, into the, uh, into space. Roger, we copy your venting. It's a gas control Okay, uh, fuel cell one, you just wanted to off the line now, Jack, is that right? We just wanted you to open the circuit, circuit, circuit right. Okay, she's off the line. It's Apollo Control, Houston. Uh, We've got a faint this moon in the background. Conversation you've heard, uh, may the main B bus uh, is off the line. Uh, fuel cells one and three also off the line. Uh, fuel cell two is presently on the line. We now show 13 at an altitude of 178,643 nautical miles. We're at 56 hours, 12 minutes into the flight. Thirteen Houston, uh, we see you getting close to gimbal lock there. We'd like you to uh, bring up all quad C's on main A, quad C1, C2, C3, C4 on main A, and also bring B3 and B4 up on main A. Thirteen Houston, you read? Okay, can you tell us anything about the venting, uh, okay. where it's coming from, uh, what when do you see it at? It's coming out of window one right now, Jack, and uh, could you give me the thrusters again? Okay, the thrusters. Uh, what what uh, button? We'd like, uh, on main A, we'd like Charlie 1, 2, 3, and 4. Also, Bravo 3 and 4 on main A. Okay, got it. 
the reference there uh, is to the uh, reaction control system thrusters. We're at 56 hours, 14 minutes now into the flight. in your uh, systems checklist, page 1-5. Mm. Apollo Control Houston, uh, we repeat again that... You might also check for those pages in your uh, launch checklist. There are uh, emergency pages, pink pages 1-5, and uh, we'd like you to power down okay, until okay. you get... Okay, the, the launch okay. checklist check. Roger, uh, power down until you get a amperage of 10 amps, less than what you got now. Over. Okay. Apollo Control Houston, uh, we repeat again that uh, main bus B on the uh, command and service module is now off the line. They're functioning with main bus A. Fuel cells one and three uh, connected uh, with bus B are now off the line. Okay, uh, Jack, are you happy with the uh, amps we have now? Stand by one, Fred. Okay, Jack, and on this uh, page one dash five, we proceeded right down the list all the way down, we're right now at BMAG number two is in warm-up. Roger, we copy BMAG two in warm-up. We'll follow you through. Okay, and uh, something is uh, giving us a reach, Jack, both in pitch and roll. So I'm suspecting that maybe it's whatever it is that's bending back there. I've had to use uh, direct or to stabilize us. As soon as I do, we're starting to pick up rates again. Can you pick up any jet fire? Stand by. What direction are your rates in, Jack? It's negative pitch and negative roll. Roger. It sounds like Mission Control isn't even getting all the information because a lot of the information okay, is going through a non-functional bus. Uh, when uh, fuel cell 2 needs its uh, pump back, we ought to take 
care of that guy. Roger. Okay, Fred, we want uh, fuel cell two pumps to AC one, please. Omni Charlie, please, 13. Omni Charlie. Okay, 13, uh, we've got lots and lots of people working on this. We'll get you some uh, dope as soon as we have it, and uh, you'll be the first one to know. They'd better be the first ones to know. Probably does anybody any good otherwise. We're currently about halfway across the water. 13, we'd like to have you put uh, thruster Alpha 3 on main A, please. Alpha 3 on main A. Okay, Jack, uh, are you monitoring the quad temps and uh, quad A? Back in temps. Affirmative. This is Houston. Uh, we'd like to power down just a little bit more, so uh, let's get BMAG 2 off and uh, make sure your lights are down. Okay, our lights are down and BMAG 2 is going to stand right off. The uh, BMAG is part of the uh, SCS system on the uh, Apollo command module. Of course, we're still attached to the lunar module, so this is less of a crucial item to power down at this time. We're at uh, 56 hours. He uh, seems to have minor turbulence flight, right continuing now. Continuing to monitor this is Apollo Control Houston. Sort of makes sense considering the prevailing wind speeds being as fast as they are. Also, uh, 13 clouds. Okay, Jack, to now I've got a rate. Fuel cell three. We're still going on okay, re real world weather here. And 13 Houston, we'd like you to uh, turn all your Bravo thrusters off and put all your Delta thrusters on main A, please. All Delta thrusters on main A and all Bravo thrusters off, Roger. Thirteen Houston, uh, turn okay, battery A off. That's why we were full of battery A off, Roger. Now you have no my transmit. I don't have any current now. We are gonna pick up some of the background it's chatter. Off. It's off. From them. But uh, I wish they, we had the mission control audio. Us completely now. For Apollo 11, they released the mission control audio, but... That... It is quite a lot to upload and digitize. 
as far as I know, they're still sitting in Houston, actual like tapes. <laughs> isolate your O2 surge tank. Over. Those cryo fans. 13 Houston, we'd like you to check some circuit breakers on panel 226. O2 heater number one, main A. And check the three cryo fan motors, tank one, three phases. Cloud reset. Roger. I'm wondering if we'll have to get to a lower altitude and, uh, once we uh, hit land like just to see stuff. You can see the, see the fuel quantities there. Uh, we lifted off of an empty center tank, which is not unusual. Still have plenty of fuel to uh, go 13, this is Houston. lower. We'd like you to give us a uh, survey of. Uh, it's not a very long flight this time, so we can MPCs, afford to go slower uh, too. To, uh, give us a gauge readings and talk back. So Especially since we've had this tailwind. Uh, 
Somewhere to the right is Jeju Island. J E J U. But I don't see it. Uh, not really. Somewhere over there. Fairly big island off the coast of South Korea. Part of South Korea. We're now over South Korean territorial waters. Apollo control, Houston. Back on the SMRCS, I've got uh, helium one now are all gray. Helium two are all gray. Primary propellant all gray. Secondary propellant, I've got uh, two barber pole and uh, A is barber pole, D gray, C barber pole, and D gray. Seems to be some islands down there. That's a smaller one, though. The name's in Korean, I can't read it. I didn't think that he could interrupt at that point, but... I'd like to butt in here a minute. Uh, we'd like to have uh, thruster C1 off. C1 is off. And uh, proceed. Uh, okay. My last uh, copy is uh, secondary red in. Okay. Your secondary uh, red in uh, gave the 70, 72 degrees. The uh, red out is about 30. I call the rep uh, temp is reading about 65. Steam pressure full scale high. I call discharge pressure about 9 uh, psi. 
the uh, Kim uh, secondary accumulator is about uh, 30, uh, 34 percent. Our temperatures uh, suits uh, showing about uh, 52 degrees. Pressures, the suit reading 4.1, cabin at 5. Partial pressure CO2 is up to a little over 1, about 1.1. On the SPS uh, side of the house, the uh, temperature is uh, 72 degrees. Helium is reading 3,500. N2A is reading 2,300. N2B about 2,450. And our uh, all its pressures, uh, fuel is reading about 165. Oops, sounds are a little weird right now. I think we're going to have to descend just to see stuff. We're approaching the coast of South Korea now. oxygen quantities and pressures in the command module. Isolating the surge tank leaves uh, oxygen for entry if uh, this should become necessary. Also, if necessary, the uh, 13 crew could open the tunnel and use oxygen uh, from the lunar module. We now...
can sort of see the land down there. Still pretty close to the coast. Approaching a city called Makpo. And we're basically pointed towards Guangzhou. Guangzhou? I don't know how to pronounce it in... Oh, I don't know how to pronounce it anyway, so it probably doesn't matter. Houston, uh, speaking from the spacecraft uh, for most of that conversation has been uh, Lunar Module Pilot uh, Fred Hayes. We're at 57 hours, uh, one minute, so now to the flight. Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's sort of a big problem. They've got a busted service module, and that's where the thrusters are. Okay, Jack, bring A4 on. Uh, stop your pitch rate. Okay, that got it. And uh, 13, we need Omni Charlie, please. Hopefully the clouds are relatively high. And uh, Fred, we'd like to have you uh, verify fuel cell reactants. Uh, talk back is Barbara Bull. Uh, that's part of my watch that then it uh, went Barbara Bull with a A brief look at the ground there. Glenn, I assume the majority of other team guys are uh, pretty much briefed and up to speed as best we can. Now what I suggest is the white team do two things. They go over the D log. I think that wasn't supposed to go onto this tape. That's the okay, Let me give you a thruster configuration right now. Other discussions going on. Able one. So we should be right beside the city of Guangzhou.
Okay, 13, uh, we'd like to have you give us those systems test readings on fuel cell one and three, please. Okay, one and three, come on. Well, okay, there's the city. Okay, 1A is reading uh, uh, lower scale zero. 1B is reading uh, 3.45. Okay, you can put yourself uh, one and three, okay, ignore that one B reading uh one C reading uh, three point uh, four. Uh one D is reading two point four. The clouds are clearing up a bit, so I might go a bit higher. Roger, is that two Bravo, Fred? That's two Bravo. You're ready now. How about point two five to point three? Or maybe they aren't. Okay. Let me get back. Some more have just appeared. A readout. This is Apollo control. I think the winds have just changed. Hours, 11 minutes. Uh, four uh, point, uh, or we're just not getting any benefit from it because we're going straight north. I guess we now that's the problem. Yeah. Okay, more power. nautical miles. Here in mission control, we're looking uh, yeah. now looking towards an alternate mission. Swinging around the moon and using the uh, lunar module power systems because of the situation that has developed here this evening. It's actually pretty quick that they uh, realized that they would have to do that. I mean, basically less than an hour since the accident. Roger, uh, we're, uh, we want to just make one last confirmation. 
Okay, Jack, we're getting that last confirmation. Uh, stand by, please. Okay. Okay, 13, we verify that we want you to close down, shut down fuel cell one, close the reaction valve. Roger, okay. uh, fuel cell one, close the reaction So we're uh, basically alongside a city called Zhengzhou. J E O N J U to the right. Can't really see a whole lot of it with the shadows of the clouds. Check on the fuel. Doesn't seem to have gone down too much. Choppy as it's redoing the weather, I think. Follow 13 Houston, we'd like to charge battery A now. Okay, there we go. Let's finish with charge that business. And Jack, in regards to your question about the uh, P 52 and LEM platform. No need to worry about that now. We wouldn't be using the LEM platform for uh, until about 79 hours. So uh, let's go as is on the platform for now. Okay.
waste dump heater. If you're going to consider dumping any more waste water, we probably ought to do it while uh, the uh, duct is warm. Roger, stand by, Jack. Okay. Okay, Jack, let's keep the water. No need for a dump right now. All right. Over to the right somewhere is a city called Daejeon, D-A-E-J-E-O-N. Can't tell, I mean, I think it's the city, if I get my right wing right there, that city right there. There's a lot of cities though. Like, uh, yep, that's our airport. So, Incheon. So, we should begin the set now. Fifteen uh, minutes. Getting over in the lamb and getting some power on that. And uh, you ready to copy your procedure? Fifteen okay. minutes of power left in the command okay, module. Okay, the CSM. Of course, I think they're uh, keeping right. some reserve for okay, the entry the and all that on business on the batteries. I don't know, they might need the LEM to help Hold charge it. the batteries? I don't know. Then LEM power switch, reset and release. In the LEM, on panel 11 and panel 16, translunar bus tie. The city in front of us should be Chonan, uh, C-H-E-O-N-A-N. Circuit breaker SN ECA control close. On 16, descent ECA control close. On panel 14, put your bat 5 normal feet on. Bats 1, 2, 3, and 4. Low voltage taps on. Bat 5, normal feed off. SN ECA control open. If Copy. our path looks a little bit weird, of course, it's because we're being pushed to the side by a 150 knot wind. So or a little bit less at this altitude. Panel 16, the SNDCA control closed, the DC 
set ECA control closed. On panel 14, batch 5 normal feed on, followed by batch 1, 2, 3, and 4 low voltage steps on, then batch 5 normal feed off, and then S and ECA control breaker open. That's a good read back, Fred. Here we'd like you to turn on the uh, fans and tank two over. see an airfield up front and that is Songtang, uh, well that's not the airport, Osan Air Base. And then in front of that is Suwon, which is the big city before Seoul basically. Uh, Fred and uh, Jim are in the lab. Okay Jack, thank you. So that to our forward left is Suwon Airport. Activation 11, omit step 1, do the rest, is that correct? That's affirmative. To activation 12, and activation 13, step 1. That's all correct. Okay, Jack. Uh, pressure tank Again, we're not landing at Seoul itself, but on, at Incheon, which is on the coast, basically the port of Seoul.
this is Apollo Control at 57 hours 46 minutes ground elapsed time. The black team of flight controllers is now on station in Mission Control Center looking at possible alternate missions as we have an apparent serious oxygen leak in the cryogenic oxygen in the service module. And now in the process of powering down the command module, less than 15 minutes remaining of uh, electrical power to the CSM. The command module search tank has been charged with uh, oxygen for entry. Okay, so we are approaching Seoul here. 13, say again, please. Well, we are curious about activation 11 of the VHF. Omit the VHF. the scheme of going across to the lunar module, uh, still connected uh, with the open tunnel, the lunar module would serve as a sort of lifeboat for the crew of Apollo 13. Sometime later in the mission, uh, it is expected that they would return to the free return trajectory, which they left yesterday in the mid-course correction burn number two. At the Paracentian near the moon, uh, they would use the descent propulsion system of the lunar module for trans-Earth injection burn at about 79 hours, 30 minutes ground elapsed time. This would produce a day early entry at about 142 hours. That is a day earlier than a nominal free return entry. We're continuing to monitor the situation and uh, still live on air ground. Okay. Uh, Jack, this is Houston. So obviously this is Seoul. We want you to keep your AMU up and uh, keep the lights on so you can see in there. And uh, leave battery, up, battery A off and uh, at the appropriate time we'll put it on main A. And we're going to uh, keep the IMU up so as we can okay. get a course of line in the lamp. Alright, we'll get uh, right now... Uh, we're currently we're over the Gangnam District. The infamous... Perhaps. Uh, discontinue the uh, charge and battery A, Jack. Uh, a little bit tough to decide what counts as downtown. Okay, Jack, uh, discontinue charge of battery A. Dunham District is certainly turn, packed. Bus by uh, AC on. Roger, and uh, we want you to uh, keep the lights up and the IMU on. Okay. Well, that island right there looks telling. Well, there's also some buildings there now we can see. Let's take a look around. And uh, Jack, down. we'd like you to leave the comp configuration as until we uh, get calm with the lamp. Okay. The National Assembly is on that island to our left. So that's pretty downtown. And 13, this is Houston. I've got another procedure for the limb. Short one. Okay, uh, ready to copy, Jack. Okay, on panel 11, uh, we'd like you to uh, close the LGC Disky circuit breaker. Then we want you to go to activation 25. Do steps 1, 2, and 3. Then go to activation 30, and uh, that'll give us a dock IMU course align. Over. Roger, pan 11, close LGC circuit breaker. Activation 25, steps 1, 2, 3, and then do complete activation 30, is that correct? That's affirmative, uh, on panel 11, LGC disky circuit breaker closed. Let's see, oh, another view of Seoul. This is Apollo Control. We have confirmation now that two of the Apollo 13 crewmen are indeed in the lunar module. And uh, in the LAM, let's uh, go to panel This airport and, uh, in front of us uh, is uh, Gimpo International. Again, not where we're landing. Okay, panel 11. 
that's firm. And uh, Jack and the CSM, go to bypass on the radiators and drag right. glycol pump off. I'll change the tapes, I think, there. And 13 in the CSM, we want to uh, verify that all the fuel cell pumps are off. And uh, we want to have you turn off the O2 fans in uh, tank 2. Okay, tank 2 fans going off. Okay, that leaves me with tank 1 fans on and uh, tank 1 heaters on. That's the firm. You'll sell two pumps going off now. So in front of us yeah, is the city of Incheon. Okay. I think it is the LEM audio and they're going through the checklist of everything. Suddenly a lot more light. There's the airport to our right. I feel like I should give it a flyover first. I'm not really understanding those lights right now. The Apollo 13 crew back to Earth. Uh, that is, it's uh, consumables, oxygen, electrical power. This is a heck of a causeway. This is uh, Highway 110. Aquarius Houston, say again, please. Uh, there's downtown Incheon, I guess. Okay, I'm just uh, making a comp check. Heck of a highway. Roger, we see him, Fred, and uh, reading you loud and clear. Okay, those lights do not appear to have a whole lot to do with the runways. <laughs> Interesting. The runways are parallel to our direction right now. That's why I was wondering about those lights. The what the heck thinking they were is doing. to use the lunar module descent propulsion system, the big engine of the LAM, to propel the entire spacecraft stack 
to a higher velocity as they go around behind the moon to come back to Earth a day earlier than a normal free return trajectory would return the spacecraft. We'd like you to, on your uh, alignment, uh, can you continue right on through the final line? Uh, activation 31, go right on through step 7, over. Okay, you want to go on uh, 31 uh, through step uh, number 7, Jack? That's affirmative, and uh, I'd say we could, uh, another configuration for you. All 16 RCS auto selects off, all RCS heaters off, over. Okay, I can verify all heaters off. Uh, Jack, I've got to keep a uh, fairly minimum bit then until we get through this portion line. Roger. Okay, time to get into the cockpit. Bird 41. The very, very quiet cockpit. Down 20. Okay, turning. Zero, eight, one, three. Is that right? Enter. Okay. I'd have said you used to have battery uh, AR. Okay, that looks pretty good. Gear down. Okay, Jim, we copy the roll cal at two, minus 2.0. Command module is Flaps. Okay. Bird 41, we've done that. Okay. Aquarius Houston, request high bit rate, please. You want high bit rate? That's affirmative, Fred. Won't cost the same. Not exactly a nominal approach. Odyssey Houston, we'd like you to, on your comm configuration, go to primary power amp off, low bit rate, and down voice backup. Over. We need your suit gas diverter okay. to cabin. Uh, you got it. 
Okay, flaps up, and some throttle and no brakes. Alright, let's see, where should we go? Okay, Jack, thank you, and uh, Corey, as you're it's a big airport. I don't know, I feel like they're missing some terminals or some such. Well, I'll hold it here for now. Let me pause that. He's asking for the time. Ground elapsed on GET. And uh, yeah, we'll pick it up there. Uh, the astronauts know that they're in the midst of an abort and sorting all of that business out. But yep, pretty, pretty interesting how difficult that whole business was, but also how calm they were. So anyway, with us in Seoul next time, well, Incheon, uh, next time we'll be taking another flight. I'll just leave the details for when I do it. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.